I'm here with Anna Bona, the wonderful brand ambassador and fifth generation owner of the legendary Marchese de Barolo of Barolo. I mean, who doesn't know Barolo? But Anna and her daughter Valentina are among the most uh, passionate brand ambassadors, not only for their brand, which is a famous one, but also for the region the sort of good energy that they spread with their work is, is amazing. So here we have Anna in Bangalore, in India, on a literally whistle-stop tour of the major cities in India, where she has been for a long time, at least the brand has been for a long time. Uh, Anna, I'd like you to tell me a little bit about your role as a brand ambassador for Marchese de Barolo and you're in 64 countries so tell me a little bit about how much travel you do. <laughs> I thank you for this opportunity to talking about uh, our wine, our beautiful land which is Lange region. I am Anna Bona from the winery I'm saying also more from the family of Marchese di Barolo. Uh, we are we have this important uh, heritage from the Marchese di Barolo, which is the oldest winery in Barolo, the winery where everything happened. Uh, uh, the Barolo was born in our cellar. I'm very proud of saying that. And the history of our family, starting with the Marchesa Giulia, she came as a bride in Barolo in the 18th century, we are going back. And uh, she fell in love with uh, the Marchese di Tancredi di Palletti and when she came in Barolo she saw very quickly the potential of the vineyard of the grape. At the time in Barolo wasn't, it wasn't the, the, the wine we, we know now, even at that name. It was a sparkling sweet wine and she decided to call a friend of her, a winemaker from France, and, she, and they made together this uh, the, the Barolo, 100% of Nebbiolo and they started to age the Barolo. We still have at the winery five big barrels left, they still produce Barolo. They, are, uh, they have 200 years of, of history and uh, of life and they still, we still age Barolo. My husband wanted to restore them uh, three years ago, it took a long time but now we are very proud to say that uh, 200 years of history and they are still uh, doing something very important, the Gigauer single vineyard of Barolo. And uh, the Marchesa Giulia, the, when uh, unfortunately they her and her husband they didn't have any kids, so they left everything to the Opera Pia in Torino, and uh, when they died. And in 1905 and 29, the family of my husband, the grand-grandfather of my husband, they bought the property. They were part of the families, the few families in Barolo, they produce, they already started to produce uh, the Barolo and they learned actually from the Marchese di Barolo and they, when they bought the, they bought the property, it was a big sacrifice, but it was uh, the beautiful sacrifice for the family and uh, now we are here. So at the fifth, uh, me at the fifth generation, we have the sixth, which is my daughter Valentina, she's already on the road. <laughs> she's already there, yes, I met her. And she's as dedicated and uh, devoted to that as, she, as you are. So uh, let's talk about the winery because I have been there and I've seen how beautiful it is. Uh, people who would like to visit can visit after making a booking perhaps. So tell me a little bit about the winery visit and some of the other things that you do there. There's a beautiful shop, there's a store where you can buy the wines and a lot of very interesting things from truffles to marmalade to to yes. things and you can have a beautiful paired meal with the Barolo wines. So tell us a little bit about how yeah. you planned all this. I am very happy to, to tell uh, about that because I am proud of that. It's, uh, it's something that uh, I had the inspiration of from my traveling. When I went to South Africa 30 years ago, I was impressed about the hospitality I received. And in Barolo the mentality was very close, nobody was opening uh, the winery, the cellar was just uh, for buying wine, but uh, I decided to do, and I think it is 
the be best beautiful thing. I think for me, I have uh, two kids and the third kids is uh, my hospitality. It's something that uh, I really believe in. And uh, we have, uh, when you, you, we want to offer to the people who travel and come and visit us a day, a very unique experience, uh, so a complete experience. You, the, the visit of the, the tour of the winery of the cellar, then the tasting, and then if you want, you can pair the, the right pairing with the, the every course as a, a different wine. So who come when you finish the tour, you have a, a, a very complete experience of wine. We have a lot of people, they come because sometimes they say, we don't know too much about wine, but when they leave, they bring something more.